Good morning, it's VTR Dave. Welcome back to the channel. It's really early on a Sunday morning. It's cloudy, it's drizzly, and I've just driven 100 miles to the NEC in the heart of the UK in Birmingham for the NEC Toy Fair, arguably the largest toy fair in the UK. There's only two shows this year. We're pretty lucky though, because it was gonna be canceled. Anyway, let's see who we might meet. Let's see what we might find. I haven't got anything in particular on my list. You never know if there's anything a little bit quirky, a little bit out there, a little bit different. I might pick it up. As usual, I went for the early bird ticket. It's still quite busy though at this time of the morning. I guess that's an indication of how popular it is now to collect these kinds of things. As you can see, we're in a massive hall here at the NEC. I think there's probably over 500 stall holders here, so we should find something decent. Immediately, I come across some quality vintage action man. In fact, last time I was at the NEC, I picked up this lifeguards outfit and action man. And ever since, I've been wondering about picking up a horse as well to go with it. It will look great on display. Yeah, yeah. And in fact, this stall had a number of horses inside a box. So who knows, maybe I'll pick one of those up. I'm still only a few stalls in, but there's so much great stuff here. The dealers and the buyers have definitely come out for this. I think the fact that there are only two NEC shows this year is making a big difference. Here we can see some graded supernaturals, a lovely Night Stalker, and several sealed mask boxes. <laughs> I had to take a closer look at that masked stiletto box. It was an opportunity to do some research for a future restoration. Hint, hint. It's always great to see those rocky figures on card. I absolutely love those. And it's always good to meet up with Matt and Jules. You can tell it's early. Looks like we all need a strong coffee. Just like Sandown, the last toy fair I visited, here there's plenty of vintage Star Wars to be had. Unlike Sandown though, where there were loads of high-end items, here it looks like there's many more affordable mint on card, as you'll see. Now, I was very tempted by this next item you'll see. I believe it's from the Advanced Dungeons and Dragons line. In the end, I decided to let it go. I figured that there would be another collector there who would love this more than me. Let me know if I made the right decision or not. Those are side of it. That's funny. I don't want to get into trouble. <laughs> Plenty more affordable mocks on this stall. One in particular, though, caught my eye. It's actually my least favourite Star Wars figure. It's General Medine. But for some unknown reason, I really felt like General Medine was following me around at this particular toy fair. Yeah, I mean, you don't, I don't think I've ever seen the full set at a fair before, to be honest. Yeah, but you do see them from time to time. I've had a look around this morning and I've not really seen many others. So there's usually a few here, you know. Yeah. The full set of Dennis Fisher Doctor Who items, all in box, 
Now at Sandown, I did see a couple of loose Dennis Fisher Doctor Who items, but I've never seen the full set before. Now I did cheekily ask whether he would take the Dalek out of the box because I've never seen one of those before. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, quite quirky things, aren't they? It's got yeah, a friction drive. Yeah. Oh, it has a friction drive. Ah, oh, nice. Yeah, that can put him behind that jigsaw, doesn't it? Well, I've already got one in that case up there, I think. Uh, yeah, we put them there, you mean, yeah. I had a great chat with Ian from the Vintage Toy Monster, a shop which is based on the south coast of the UK. He had all sorts of goodies on his stall, including yeah, a very rare actually, piece, very... a monster gumball machine front. If you want to know more about this particularly rare item, then go and check out Theo's channel, Slimehouse TV. He features this item and it looks awesome. So he's gonna... He's gonna... There you are. Prior to this toy fair, I've been messaging a guy called Gary, also known as the Toy Crusader on Instagram. He's a lovely chap. And as you can see from his stall, he has some amazing Rambo items. In particular, he had some parts from the Strike Headquarters and it looks like I need some of those, so awesome. Not only that, Gary has a fantastic selection of TMNT items as well. So if you're after any of those, I highly recommend Toy Crusader on Instagram. Oh, come on, you're kidding me. A loose graded Medine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put his arms on his head, his head where his arm goes. <laughs> there we go, that. 1970s Mego. Yeah, I think it's Batman. 78. It's 78. There we go. Now, that magnetic Batman was on the Raiders of the Loft toy stall, and it was great to meet those guys for the first time. But they may have got me into collecting a new line. You see, that Batman is from Mego. It's part of their magnetic superheroes line from the 1970s. There's only four of them. Oh, they're so tempting, but they're also so pricey now that I've looked them up. Thanks, guys. And next door was David World Toys. Always good to catch up with another Dave. That's the, ja that's the Japanese version. Of the JR21? Yeah. There's also an SPV I've got here as well. You don't mind if I put it. It's so crispy. Exactly it's exactly the same, yeah, but it was licensed by Bandai. Isn't the back falls off the same as the yeah. JR's funny one? Well, it's actually made by Rosenthal, but they sold them in Japan. Bandai, didn't There's also... Oh, right. Yeah. So it's a Japanese issue, but the box is better, I think. Oh, it's a great box to start. Superb one. Are you a pro? Do you do Project Sword? Do you like bother them? Uh, no, I really collect it. Yeah. But, uh, I've been attending toy fairs for many years now. But there's one person I haven't bumped into until now. I've been following their channel for a long time. In fact, I'm a Patreon, purely because the content they produce is just so polished. So when I saw them out of the corner of my eye, 
I had to head straight over. It is, of course, Theo from Slimehouse TV. We chatted about toys and YouTube, and I couldn't believe it, but he actually watches my stuff. So if you're not following Theo, which I'm sure you are, then please do go over and subscribe. His content is next level production, it really is. I love this stall, plenty of vintage action man. That racing car is lovely, but a little too pricey for me, unfortunately. This is actually where I bought my lifeguards figure from last time. There was a small issue though, it had two right boots. I mentioned this to them and they gave me at no cost some new ones. So that's awesome, thanks guys. That's what you call service. Oh, I know, that's why I told you. That's why I to undergo the full By the end of the show, all of those indie boxes were sold. Definitely indie is in demand right now, that's for sure. And look who I bumped into also for the first time, Rich from Zort Rider. And what a lovely chap he is as well. You can't beat this kind of stall. Something for everyone, plenty to rummage through. Sometimes though, you don't have to look too hard. There were some very nice vintage Star Wars pieces on this stall, but two little things caught my eye. These Power of the Force mini rigs, I guess you call them, the Security Scout and Sand Skimmer. To be honest though, after handling them for a couple of seconds, they seemed very delicate and I didn't want to have to pay if I damaged them, so I asked the guy to put them back straight away. It's getting towards the end of my stay now, but there are still some gems to be found, including these henchin cyborgs and some lovely Palatoy Khalid superheroes. That's the first issue shown in Bali. And that's where he the smaller boxes. And he actually tests the website, and we work with most of the Charge me if you want for the video. That's how you say you can charge me. Thank you. Have a nice and lovely day. Well done. Thank you. Nice to meet you too. Gary, I think this guy's name is Dave. Right, let's head home and see what I've picked up. The first might surprise you, it's actually Lego. My son and I have been collecting and building these speed champions for a while now, and these new wider bodied versions are very cool. Had to get this one, it's my favourite car, the Lamborghini Countach. But I also had to get my son's favourite car too, the Nissan GTR. These are awesome. Next up, we have these two Rambo machine guns, boxed. They're not sealed, but all the contents are there, including the instructions. So these are really cool. I saw these at Sandown going for 50 pounds each. Admittedly, these aren't quite as good condition, but for 10 pounds each, ah, I wasn't gonna leave these behind. No way. Continuing on with Rambo, yes, I picked up some parts for the Strike Headquarters. I purchased a headquarters at the end of last year, well the bare bones of one anyway, and ever since I've been trying to find all the parts for it, there are hundreds of them. But this is a nice little bundle, it's got things like the headset, quite hard to find, it's quite a nice piece because it fits in all of the Rambo figures. So I have to thank Gary for, well at least allowing me to look through and pick up these pieces and we did a great deal, so thanks Gary. 
And finally, I picked up this TwinPod Cloud Car. I've really got into this diecast line. I picked up a few at Celebration, and now I've picked up this immaculate, this really minty version of the TwinPod Cloud Car. Even the undercarriage is working, often that's broken. And so with this, I've only got one more to get, and I bet you can guess which one that is as well. <laughs> but I'm really pleased with this purchase today. Nice. And there we are, another Toy Fair done and dusted. I'm pleased with the pickups, but more importantly, I had fun chatting and meeting loads of people. We've had a toy division guys, Tom at Bizarro's Pieces, all of the dealers. That's all part of the fun, I guess, of these days. But there was one other thing that I picked up, a bug. <laughs> yes, some kind of flu-like thing. So if I've looked a little crap in this video, you know why now. Anyway, I'd just like to take an opportunity while I can to say thanks to everyone who continues to support this little channel here, everyone who views, who comments and subscribes. It's really appreciated. And if any of you are at the Sandown Toy Fair coming up soon and you see me, come and say hi. Cheers, everyone. Thank you for staying till the end. Reward yourself with another VTR Classic or just leave a comment, like and subscribe. Until next time, stay safe and cheers.